All right, everybody. So today we are finally doing what we have said we were going to do for years on this car. We're going to mod it with starting with the Boss 302 and take manifolds. It's actually already ported too. So truth be told, I've kind of slacked a little over the years. Like this is Rob's already looking at me with a face. <laughs> so I've had this intake manifold probably since mid 2019 and it's just kind of been in my basement ever since. I've just, yeah, I've just been busy, really haven't had the place to use it. And um, this has kind of been my daily driver for a while. So I didn't really want to go too insane with stuff yet, but that all changes starting today. So this seems like a pretty straightforward install. You do have to cut one splice of wire, which I'm a little concerned about, but Rob's assured me he'll help me with that because I'm not the person you want to give electrical work to. I've got a D in automotive electrical from being honest in college. So that was me trying. So yeah, so we're gonna dive right into this and get right to work. All right, so the first thing we need to do is the strut factory strut tower brace unfortunately has to go bye-bye. So it's not gonna clear, it's too low. So, which believe it or not, this is actually a really low brace I've actually come to find. Even my V6 Mustang, I found that a factory GT brace doesn't fit on it. So it's not surprising to me at all. So this is gonna have to go. I will look into a replacement sooner rather than later. Simple four bolts to take off. I've taken it off multiple times. It's actually easier to get to the dipstick without it because, you know, Ford decided to sh slam it down here and then put this thing in the way. So, business as usual. <laughs> All right, now that that's removed, what's our next step? A very simple uh, removal of this. This is also gotta go. Unfortunately, I actually like the look of the 5.0 cover on this but again there's no need for it and it's just not going to work out with that intake on it so next step remove hoses all right so next we can rid the car of this actually for we'll just take the tube off first Actually, I didn't even think of it. It actually works out too, because I have a delete kit. Casey gave me a delete kit for that. This, so fun fact, this ugly tube pumps noise into the cabin. Oh, you guys have that too? We had that on- uh, We do, we, yes. We had that on the Focus ST. I never even realized it until uh, Casey, I was with working on my friend Casey's car with him. He was key to the 2020 intake manifold in his, and he pointed it out to me. And now, now that he said it, I can't unsee how disgusting that looks. So, might, well, no, might as well delete that too while we're, while we're sitting here doing uh, this install with the cold air intake some other day. God, this doesn't want to come off. There we go. Yeah, you just gotta break the seal around it. Right. They don't stab your radiator with a screwdriver. <laughs> Why? Why? And have the fifth coolant leak I've had with this car? This car just this car just loves to go through coolant leaks. My first one, this had a pin set hole size leak in it. Um, and then I also had to replace the upper radiator Careful, hose. That's still and, right. Okay, so that comes with this. You have a panel tool? I do not. I should have brought one. I actually just bought one. Okay, not a big deal. Well. Okay, that works too. All right, so that's off. <laughs> See what I mean about working in cold climates with plastic? Yeah. So, get rid of, we will rid the car of that. All right, there we go. That's the stuff. So, for the beginners who've never worked on these, it's actually just held in with one bolt and just pushed into the rubber grommets down here that I've now taken out with the box. I don't remember if I'm supposed to do that or not, but I did. And yeah. Now for the fun. I am, gonna, two, I am gonna try to move this out of the way there's actually. There's two clamps on that hose we have to get to. Uh, so. Yeah, remember what I was just saying? Yeah, so naturally this it's gonna sit there and make me eat my words about what I just said about this not being that complicated. All right, good news. We finally got this up. That kind of sucked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Because the biggest problem, you don't just wanna pry away at this thing is even though we're taking off the factory, intake manifold all of this is plastic so you can't just pry the crap out of it um we hit it with a heat gun though that pulled it off pretty nicely 
just be able to make sure you don't overdo it because like I said, plastic. Yeah. Um, also too, you might notice I'm a lot more talkative today. I kind of learned after the TDI video, I need to have caffeine before I make these videos to some degree because I didn't have any that day and it really showed. Especially too, that was the first reveal we filmed since like November. So, yeah. so but we're doing better today. So, all right. So next we're gonna start, time to start removing some of this. Now it's finally out. It looks like we have uh, some visitors too. I feel like that's kind of common to see. Yeah. Anyways. All right, so this is off. The only really complicated part about taking that out of these stupid ass zip tie clips on the back. I just had to cut them. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably, I'm sure we can just make other stuff work. That was, I really don't know any other way I could have gotten that, even with a panel tool. Yeah, that was, it was like yeah. just buried in there. All right, so, that'll be old. All right, so we got the mouse nest gone. Everything's all clean and wiped down. We got the intake over here. We put the fuel lines on it. I might have made a mess. <laughs> uh, Sparky made a mess. Yeah, I, um, I moved the fuel it. rails, forgot what they were, and just, um, yeah, I dumped it all over the intake. But it's nice and clean now. Um, also, too, when I went to put it on, I tried putting them on the mount bolts for like the fuel for everything else. So up here instead of down there. It was there. why they didn't fit till I finally accidentally got the injector in the hole where it belongs and yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you guys, I'm excited to get this on. So let's get this going. Ready for this All right. moment, everybody? Yeah. So I just drop it. That looks awesome. Don't you love the Yes, it looks fantastic. When I say, yeah, you want to pull that pose. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, the, uh, the rail popped off. Okay. Yep. Yep. I noticed. Okay, now I see why they wanted you to put that. Oh, that would help maybe if we assess our situation here. It's just such a, the biggest thing with this intake, it's just such a cluster in here with everything after a while. Okay, well it's in. It just sunk into place, so that's good. Just gonna put the things back where they belong. That didn't move too much, okay. Now the only thing that we did just discover, um, we are going to have to put off putting the purge valve on because I didn't realize that these have a specific one. For this, so the other one just clips right onto the front. This one clips onto here, it's a totally different connector, and then the mount for it bolts right there. Not a big deal, I'll order one when I get home, but that's that's one of the only things we're not gonna be able to get done today on this intake is just that step. That and the new cross brace. Yes, exactly, but that's, I really don't consider that part of this install. That's, that's something else. All right, now we gotta do the fuel rail. Also that this one's also to the same 89 inch pounds. There. Yeah, I was really thrown off by this ratchet. I'm, you know, this torque wrench right there. I'm used to big, like the hard click, so I probably over tightened that one quite a bit, but it's, um, it just, it already did it. Like you can, I'm not yeah. used to tools that nice. <laughs> oh no, it's just, uh, that's, you're not doing like a, the big, a big round that's only, Inch pounds, so it's not too, not too much of a click. Fortunately, I don't have one of the nice little snap-on ones. There's a digital readout on it telling you what you okay. got to do. All right, that's on. Oh, I can't believe how good this looks already. Yeah, yeah we're very excited for this, especially uh, when we have the hood down, since you can see in through the hood scoop, you're gonna be able to see that intake a little bit. I know what, we might have to do something about this finally. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, that's probably gonna have to figure that out. Which is just, which is just stupid. You would have thought that would have had something to mount. That, that came with nothing to mount that with. That really just kind of grinds my gears a little bit. So we'll have to try and figure out something. I'm sure there's a 3M tape, but I mean, just look at this. It is just like gorgeous in here. Take all this off. All right, so here's where we are gonna actually end it for now until we get the rest of the parts in, but the manifold is in. Yeah, so 
Really, all we have left is we have to get the new purge valve. It's Boss Rio 2 specific. I didn't realize that. I some I missed that in the video, but not a big deal. But the car's not going anywhere for a while anyway. And then um, we actually have to splice this because this plugs in all the way in the back now. But we're just gonna leave it for now. It's actually kind of cold out here now. I'm starting to my toes are starting to feel a little numb from being honest. So we're gonna end it right here. So. We'll, we'll showcase that when we get it done, because honestly, we'll, um, we'll, wait, we'll wait and do that once we decide we do another mod the same day. We can even do the cold air and take the same day as that. Yeah, I'll probably do the purge and the cold air and take the same day, just uh, finish up like that one project before we start on the next one. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then we'll also do the delete for the noisy pipe of doom. Yes, exactly. That's a good point. I'll, so. I'll look into deleting that as well, because that does look hideous and stupid and... Yeah. Suggestive and a bunch of other things. But yeah, we'll go down into the engine and we can see the explore inside the engine. Well, we now. did it though. The car is its first like actual mod to the engine. And the th how long have I owned this now? Three plus years I've owned this car now. I'm, I'm stoked about this. I should have done this a long, long time ago, but I I was just kind of slacking and I won't. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it, but it's time to change that this year. This is a year of making a lot of moves, so. Let's make so we have officially begun. I guess you could finally say. Oh, and oh, from my that, point of view, just so you guys understand, my next thing that I want him to do after this is put the spoiler on his car. Yes. So I get to drill holes in his trunk. And before I do that, I'm going to make sure I mark a million holes and make it so it looks like Swiss cheese back there for weight reduction. I kind of want to get Vince involved that day, though. He did it on his. Yeah, we, we can get we can uh, ask Vince to come help us. That's fine. All right, uh, until next time, have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.